Hi everybody, welcome to CoSpaces. Today we're going to be creating a wonderful resource within CoSpaces that will educate viewers about the wonders of the ocean. Let's get started. To start off, we are going to create a new CoSpace. Go up to the button that says Create CoSpace. From here, we need to choose a scene. We're going to choose an empty scene to start with. Click on Empty Scene. As you can see, our scene is very empty, but we're going to change that very quickly. The first thing we're going to do is go to where it says Environment. We're going to click on the Edit button and we're going to change our environment. We're going to want an ocean environment for this particular coast space. Click on the Ocean Environment. We now have our ocean environment. Fantastic! We now need to start populating our coast space with various objects. To do this, we are going to go over to the Library button. Click the Library button. You'll notice that there are a whole range of categories that you can choose items from. We're going to go to the Nature category. To start with, we are going to populate our coast base with a range of plants and rocks. We're going to do this now. Now that we've populated our coast base with a variety of rocks and plants, it's now time to incorporate some tracks and insert some other objects like animals. First of all, we're going to insert our tracks. To do this, we're going to go down to where the objects are and we're going to click on Special. You'll notice that there are a variety of different tracks. I'm going to stick with the circular track for today. Click and drag into your coast base. Now, you'll notice that the very first thing that comes up is this little control panel here. What I want to do is make this track bigger. To do this, I'm going to click the drag to scale button. That will make my track much larger. You can make it as large or as small as you'd like. I would then like to raise the track above the rocks. To do this, click on the drag to lift button. You can then raise your track above the rocks. You can then move your track to wherever you need it to go. What I'm then going to do is choose my first animal. To do this, I'm going to go to the Animals button. Click Animals, and I'm going to jump over to where it says Water. Here, you can choose from a variety of objects that live in the sea. To start with, I'm going to put in a shark. Click and drag into your coast space. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate my shark. Now you'll notice that my track is pointing a certain direction. I want my shark to also point in that direction. To do this, click on this top left hand button. This will allow you to manipulate your shark. What I then want to do is raise it to the level of my track. There's two things that I'm going to do now. I'm going to right click on my shark. The first thing is I'm going to press the code button here. You will notice that there is a code toggle button that says use in code blocks. I'm going to toggle that on. That will allow me to code my shark later on. What I'm then going to do is attach my shark to the track that I created earlier. To do this, right click, go to the button that says attach. You'll notice that there are a whole range of different spheres that appear on the screen. Click on one of the spheres that are located on the track, like so. You will now notice that the shark is on that particular track. I'm going to increase the size of my shark a little bit as well. Before I insert any more objects into my CoSpaces world, I'm going to right click on my track. I'm going to double check that the code has been switched on. Anything that you want moving in your CoSpaces world or anything that you want to code, you need to ensure that it is toggled on within that code block. So here it says using code blocks, it's toggled on, so it can be coded later on. Something to remember for all of the objects that you're going to be coding. I want my shark to be moving while going along the track. Essentially, I want to animate it. To do this, I'm going to right click on my shark and click on the animation button. Here you'll have a few options in terms of what you want the shark to do. In my case, I'm gonna keep it simple. I want my shark to swim. Once you've done that, click outside the box 
and essentially once your coating is complete later on, your shark will be moving using a swimming motion. From this point, we're going to populate our co-space world with more creatures and more paths. We are now going to incorporate code into our code space as well. To do this, go to the top right hand corner and click on the button that says code. You'll be given three options, code blocks, TypeScript and Python. It really is up to you on which coding language you choose, but today we are going to choose code blocks. The first thing that we need to do when we come to our coding workspace is to click on the button that says control. We need to find the forever loop. This forever loop will ensure that our code will continue going forever. We are then going to stay in our control section and scroll down to where it says run parallel. Click and drag that into the workspace in the forever block. The run parallel block will allow us to run code simultaneously. This is important if we want our various sea creatures to continue moving at the same time. The next thing we are going to do is go to the transform button. We would like our animals to start moving along our tracks. You'll notice that there is a block that says move certain animal on path around a certain path. We're going to take that and move it into our run parallel block. Essentially what this does is connects a specific animal to a specific path. It's really important that you connect the right animal to the right path. To check the labels of the path, double click. This one is round path. The one down here is round path two. Make sure that you have the right path connected to the right animal. I'm now going to make sure that the right animals in my co-spaces world are connected to the right path. First, I'm going to connect my shark to the right path. At the moment it says dolphin is connected to my round path, which is not correct. We need to change dolphin to shark. To do this, click on the drop down menu and find where it says shark. You then might want to change the speed at which your shark goes around the path. Do this for all of your objects and all of your paths. We're going to start creating our quiz within our CoSpaces world. To do this, we're going to go to the events button. Click on the events button. We're going to scroll down to where it says when object is clicked. What we're then going to do is go to the actions button. This is where we can insert our quiz. You'll notice there's a block that says show quiz panel with question. We're going to click and drag it into the when object is clicked box. What we can now do is populate this particular block with a question and specific answers to that question. In this box, we have to select which one is the actual correct answer. From there, we can also put an action in for a correct answer or an incorrect answer. To incorporate more answers to your question, click on the cog and press the button that says add answer. We're going to do this one more time after that. I'm going to start populating the question for my shark, but to do that, I need to toggle what is being clicked. At the moment, it says dolphin. I want to change this to shark. Click on the drop down menu and click shark. Now what I'm going to do is start populating my questions and answers. Now I'm going to insert a comment based on a correct or incorrect answer. To do this, I'm going to scroll up to where it says show info panel with title. I'm going to click and drag one of these for when correct and when incorrect. And I'm going to populate these. Repeat this process for all of the animals that are in your code space as well. The last thing that I'd like to do is notify the viewer that if they click on a particular object, they're then given a question. To do this, I'm going to right click on my object and go to where it says speech. From here, I can get the object to think or say something. In this case, I want it to say click here to answer a question. Done. Follow these steps with all of your objects. The final step in creating our CoSpaces world 
is to edit the features of our camera. Find the camera in your CoSpaces world. It might be a little bit tricky because it is transparent. Once you find it, you're going to right click on it. You'll notice that there is a button that says camera. Click on this. You'll also notice that there are movement options. Click on the drop down menu and it will give you options. Fixed position, walk, fly and orbit. For this ocean scene, we want to click fly. Essentially, this will allow our camera to roam freely throughout our co-space. Once you have finished populating your co-spaces world, you would have created a wonderful resource that others can use to learn about the wonders of the ocean. We can't wait to see what you come up with with your fantastic ideas and creativity.